Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon 3, The Warborn. We are still in the uh, lower level of um, Zethron's Lair. We are, I don't know, um, maybe not mostly done exploring it. Although it seems that, like we might be. Obviously I'm going to go back and take a closer look at that interesting looking lava chamber there. Oh, hello. We have a an actual drake down here. I'm sure Zethron won't mind us taking it out. Uh, I guess I will actually charge my weapons and see if I can finish off the terrified rat with my casters. Very nice. Oh, I'm... Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. We lost a turn we could have used attacking with our uh, double strike active. <clears throat> What's she gonna do? Walk a bit closer first, I guess. And then one of these. Okay. Drake is frenzying. Nice one, okay. That's even better than I was hoping for. Of course, I'm going to take some burning damage now, but that's fine. Should take out the Drake relatively quickly. It is quite resistant to magic, but not very resistant to physical attacks. Well, not resistant at all. Okay, that was easy. And it wasn't regarding anything special. Unless you count a blessing crystal as special. Well, fair enough. I guess we really are mostly done. There is the, the library of the dragon, guarded by these two constructs, but uh, so long as I don't have an actual palpable reason to go there, uh, obviously visitors are not welcome there. I'm not sure, um, I don't know. Those uh, those shades, did I say constructs? Um, anyway, those magical shades with their dampening field or whatever might be dangerous. I might not be able to defeat them, although um, I probably would be. But for the time being, I'm not even going to try. Ah, there's another drake, a named one, Gisethus. Okay, should I be afraid? Maybe. This time I'm going to double strike beforehand. Oh. And it, even though it is hostile, it does want to talk, apparently. Uh, well, or not. This used to be some sort of workshop or a laboratory. It hasn't been used in a very long time. A drake has decided to claim it. You interrupt the creature in the process of gathering stones for a nest. When you get close, the beast lets out a long hiss. Ah, I wondered when Zethron would send down mors uh, morsels for his guests to eat. You will do. Rudo raises his staff. Back up and submit, beast. Don't you see? We're hands of Abaddon. The drake snarls. I don't care. Nobody will ever punish me. Nobody will know what happened to you after I eat you. It lunges at you. Well, that's a pretty dumb drake. Wow. Might also be... I, I didn't even catch what all that text just was. I thought something about vitality? Huh. Also, did we just regenerate health somehow? Um, I don't understand. But that's fine. I don't need to. Let's do this. And uh, some of that, I guess. I mean, burning damage against a dragon is of questionable usefulness, but also this is annoying. Although I should have seen it coming, of course. Oh, this Drake is dealing a ton of damage, that's for sure. Um, well, Horn Serpent is burning. Might die next turn. Um, or I guess I could make sure and do something like this. It just doesn't stop summoning stuff, huh? Okay. Can I... Looks like I can reach 
the drake, but I will start burning. That's unfortunate. It's the only way to reach it, though. Or is it? Wait a second. If I walk here, I will be able to take one more step, right? Even though I'm close to an enemy? Yeah, so that still works. Okay, no burning for me. Nice one. Slowed and incinerated. Yes, I am getting a bit low on health, but I, sh I think we should be fine. Especially since the drake should be going down sometime soon. The fire stopped anyway. Oh, Rudo is actually completely stunned. Well. Okay. Another decent hit. Um, can she finish him off reliably? What can she do? Icy Lance. Maybe that will deal better damage than f her fire attack? Well, good enough anyway. Interestingly, that did only get rid of one of the summon creatures. But then I guess these Bezalus just don't count as summon. Wait, why are we regenerating tons of vitality here? That was like, what, 40 vitality regenerated? I mean, she's regenerating. But that has nothing to do with it. Um, that's also not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Actually, I help him finish it off? Good. Radiant heal. Oh, that's his, uh, that's his random chance of healing. Uh, by party members. I've just never, I've just never seen that kick in quite so often. Or maybe never at all. I actually, it's the first time in a while that I have been, that I have had any party members whatsoever. So maybe I activated that, um, that ability. And then shortly after that he left the party, so I never really got to experience it. That might be the case. Anyway, Scroll Resurrection, always good. Actually, I'm amassing quite a few of those. He has two. I guess Nathalie should have at least like one or two as well. Also, all these wands. Seriously, these weak wands of fire. I guess they're really more... They might be more useful for a character or, you know, maybe even an entire party without any spellcasters if you just need magical damage. So I think those weak ones of fire will never be useful. Damage they can possibly deal is just so minimal. Um, also these uh, ones of venom, even though they don't deal a tremendous amount of damage, uh, but they have, a, have a, uh, an, an area effect that's a circular targeting area. That's uh, very useful. Swans of Ice? Maybe not so much. I'm gonna sell the, the one that's low on charges anyway. I just want to have some extra room. In fact, I think two of those should suffice. Either way, one of Calling might come in useful. One of Lightning is relatively high damage. Alright, this will be sold. Um, and I'm going to give, like, three of those, <coughs> excuse me, to Nathalie. Just, you know, you never know who actually ends up surviving and who might be in need of, in desperate need of having something to resurrect someone with. Okay. Oh. I guess this must, yeah, most likely also lead to or lead from the library in this case. I guess I will eventually at least try to explore that part of the lair. Maybe I'll get a quest to, I don't know, access some information stored therein or something. Or if not, I might just eventually decide that I want to explore it just out of curiosity. Also, Trying to break into this dragon's horde. Seems like a pretty stupid idea. These horde guardians might or might not be 
pretty dangerous. Okay. In any case, let's wait for these shock fields to dissipate. Okay, and here we have a fight at our hands. Oh, okay. Let's charge weapons. Here goes the healing again. Okay, these things are powerful. And immune to fire. Not too surprising. Ooh. Don't do it. Well, on their own they should be at least beatable. Um, let's use some ice. Ouch, there goes the shock. <clears throat> okay, okay, Rudo needs to get away there. Oh, and he died from something. I didn't even catch that shock. Is that... That doesn't deal damage, right? Take magic damage? Oh, never mind. And I forgot... Well, all the... All the mess-ups. And basically... Is it even worth... I guess I must... Oh, yeah. I must move around the inner circle, or the middle circle, I guess. Before I can even... Um... is the uh, centermost part. I wonder if it's possible to actually avoid all combat. Are they all moving counterclockwise? Sanger's rod is uh, not great. Not great at all. Good to know. Please move. Okay, they're all standing there. Now they're moving... Wait a second, how do you reach that? From this platform you can finally get a good look at the spire in the middle of the caldera. It does indeed bear Zethron's horde. There are chests, jars, suits of armor and other goodies, all kept tantalizingly out of reach. Some of the bigger boxes are leaking gold coins and similar trinkets. It turns out Zethron is wealthy, and not beyond imagining. But not beyond imagining. If Redbeard ever needs to borrow enough gold to hire an army, he will have to look somewhere else. Hmm. Okay, I guess that that knowledge alone is kind of useful. Also, there is gold here. And silver. And stuff. Just a composite bow. The major staff, also not that great. Huh, interesting. So... I guess these can never actually be reached? Hmm. Maybe. Quite possibly. Alright. Well, that was interesting nonetheless. Again, maybe some way to, to actually reach the Horde will present itself in the form of a quest later on. For the time being, I'm quite content just having gained some interesting insights. Well, these two guys aren't... well, they took some... took a little bit of a beating. But actually, I'm just about to return to the... Um, to the top floor, the main floor again. That should heal us anyway. Right, and I guess as soon as we're upstairs, I'm going to try and figure out what to do next. I did talk to everyone, pretty sure. I did talk to Redbeard, we got our official assignment. Let's just take a look at our quest log. Right, so the Warborn, yes, we are supposed to go to Goldcrag, and since Redbeard is desperately looking for more men, or, you know, more soldiers, we are supposed to talk to the commander at Goldcrag and convince them, convince her apparently, to um, give me her 
give me the the men under her command. And to do that, we we are probably supposed to uh, free Goldcrag from the Warborn that are attacking it, which will also work in um, Overseer Levant's interest. It still says he might have work for me, so I don't have an actual official quest from him yet, except talk to Redbeard on his behalf, which I did. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to actually return to Avedon and talk to Levant again now that uh, Redbeard has agreed to help him in exchange for, what was it, uh, a share in the gold profits, since Goldcrag does bear its name for a reason. Hmm, maybe. I guess we might as well free Goldcrag first. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, the envoy, yes, we did actually acquire uh, a bit of Redbeard's hair, uh, unexpectedly. So whenever Duran decides to contact us again, we can actually deliver. Enforcing the law. Right, that's not going to happen. Sparing who we can. That's another... Yeah, these are all my companion quests. Sparing who we can. Uh, Camp of Sorgali, hiding on Svar's Peninsula. That's right, that's for Botan. So I don't know if I can reach that, uh, if I can reach Svar's, Svar's Peninsula at this point. I guess we'll find out as soon as I enter the world map next time. Uh, we also have something else to do there, right? The Titan's Bounty, yes. I knew I had heard the name Svar's Peninsula before. So that's the quest we got from Grenra. And we're also supposed to talk to Grenra yet again to deal with, uh, what was it? The Great Dragon? No, wait, uh, Wallace's Emirates. Yes, Wallace asked us to uh, take care of uh, Gorm, who's causing trouble. Right, the dragon wants us to clean out his trap tower. So m that might be what we're, d what we're doing first, actually. Right. Library Bounty, we don't know about that yet, and we are going to return to um, Camp Nightshade eventually to uh, give uh, Nicodemus our latest find. Alright, okay. I think, as I just said, we're going to check out the Trap Tower first. To that end, we're going to take the main entrance. <coughs> right here. All right, we'll check out the trap tower, then we're going to visit Grenra, talk about Gorm, and uh, we'll basically ask him for permission to take care of, uh, of Gorm, if need be. Right. And then we might do that, uh, but the tower first. Who knows how long that's actually going to take. Hopefully not the entire episode, but we'll see. Okay, there's water in this tower. I'm sure that's intentional. You enter the tower very slowly. The sign outside said there are traps, and you believed it. You don't find anything unusual, though. The tower has been abandoned and sealed up for a long time. The furniture is all still here, but mostly rotted away. Nothing jumps out at you. Huh. Literally or figuratively, I suppose. Okay. Right, we did see that gate connecting the tower, the interior to the to the lake outside. Wheel controls, uh, the, the wheel controls the gates to the north. They in turn direct the water flowing from the spring in the middle of the tower. Oh. So it's the other way around. Alas, years of neglect have left the wheel rusty and unusable. Okay, not that it would seem immediately useful to us. Well then, let's take a look upstairs. Oh, wait. No, this is not a switch. Okay. Still no traps. That is a little bit suspicious. Okay. Well, there are some runes on the floor. Those are sometimes troublesome. There's also an emerald here, which I meant to put into the junk bag, of course. Okay, let's... Ah. I was gonna say. At the moment your foot brushes against the rune on the floor, the traps in the tower finally come to life. 
They've lost a lot of their power over the last couple of centuries, but the magic is still pretty impressive. Two statues step off of the pedestals to the north. They are huge, devastatingly strong stone constructs. They, also, they are also very old. They are crumbling under their own weight. As they move, they immediately begin to fall apart. Even if they kill you, they won't exist for long after that. Which is sort of satisfying, you suppose. If you simply flee the tower, the trap will fall apart on its own. Ah, so that's why the quest said I can either deactivate them or suddenly be in the middle of this frozen field. Um, no, or uh, just spring the traps, and that should work as well. Okay, well, first things first. I guess I'm going to stand here, charge my weapons. She's going to retreat a little bit. Do one of these. Okay, so they just create this field around them. No escaping, except when we... Ah, uh, wait, can you not move? Frozen. Uh, cursed with immobility, wait, what? Oh, it's not even Rudo's turn. I guess he w must have been immobile as well. Yeah, I cannot move at all, but I can attack. Barely did any damage, that's a bit unfortunate. And by a bit unfortunate, I mean very unfortunate. Um, I guess I'll try this. Okay, they do take acid damage. That's good. Um, my healer is about to die, which is not so good. We are taking a ton of damage here. That's really quite troubling. She can only heal herself. Um, if I don't heal him now, somehow, and by somehow I mean using... Wait, didn't I have? Yeah, group heal. Something like this. Um, pretty sure he would have died. Okay. Well, I, should I go with... I don't know if I need to heal this turn. Maybe not, if uh, the enemies actually start attacking Ayali instead of uh, Nathalie and Rudo. He might be okay-ish. Maybe I'd be better off trying to deal some extra damage. Okay, so they are immune to poison. That's kind of what I feared might be the case. Also not sure using ice uh, against them will is the best course of action. Scroll of Lightning. Yeah, these are actually pretty bad. Well, let's use our own Lightning Wind first. They're also immune to Lightning. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, well, why don't you heal the group now? I guess they're best bet is actually to just attack. Okay, this whole immobility thing is really unfortunate. Um, I guess I can use an earthquake, or I could push one of the guys away and possibly make them immobile. Okay, good. Should definitely try focusing I'm killing one of them, yeah, that didn't work out, work out quite so well. In fact, Nathalie is in a bit of danger here. Uh, I did not mean to click there, game. Well, that, that's, that's dumb. Obviously, I meant to click her. I don't know who to blame here. Probably myself. Okay. Uh, double strike is still gonna be active for four more turns. I think I need to use Ayali to deal as much damage as I possibly can. Maybe I should actually walk off this ice, although, eh, we'll see. Wait. Oh, they, they, f they fell apart. Wow, I didn't, I totally didn't even realize that 
one of them just disappeared. Okay, well, in that case, um, all of my tactical enemies visible. Oh, all right. Yep. <laughs> bye bye, Rudo. Uh, yeah, all of my tactical considerations are moot anyway, so. Well, yes, let's pick that. Okay. Oh, there's an, a hidden room there. Of course. Well, that was not very successful. I guess running away was the much better idea to begin with. But, uh, well, I didn't know. Pitted Greaves give extra strength? Okay, armor. I guess that's... Hmm, 5% proposed chance. Does stack with what I already have. Um, I'm pretty sure this plus 1 to Focus Mastery does absolutely nothing for me. I would like the extra crit chance, but um, I guess since this does give me two potentially useful effects instead of just one, I'm gonna take that. Um, well, I'm gonna hold on to these for the time being. What's in here? Just some... Um, one of lightning. Um, right, I have one of those. Do I need more? I don't know. I guess it's better than a one of ice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Better than a one of ice, so might as well take that. Okay. These turrets saw me immediately. That's Kind of a bummer. Also, wow, did we were we already this damaged, or did this one turret do that just now? Uh, hang on a second. Let's retreat for the time being. Guess they are sometimes malfunctioning instead of actually attacking. Okay. Let's make sure my hit points are fully regenerated before I try that again. Okay, this time was not so bad. No, I guess... I don't know, I, I guess I must have not been fully regenerated before. Which is kind of strange since I, I didn't pay attention to my health, obviously, but... Um, we were wandering around a little bit. I guess I spent most of that time in um, in menus, though, and not actually regenerating, so there is that. Anyway, these things are not quite so bad. And pretty easy to kill as well. All right. Any more? Yes, of course. Hmm, is there even still bonus damage when attacking constructs as a Tinker Mage? Because I don't think I saw the disarmed um, additional text that used to be there. Okay, so now this is... Oh, there are more of these. That's... great news. Ayali also is not healed, so I think I want to do one of these. Hit her this time and not just run around pointlessly. Okay, the constructs are coming. That's terrible news. Wonder if we should just retreat upstairs and wait for a bit. Since it did say that uh, activating the constructs and then just leaving the tower should be enough to <coughs> to make them go away. I wonder if the same is true for 
just you know leaving that floor and going here it might not be okay they're definitely still there in that case well I don't know I mean we might be able to take one of them out okay immune to nature damage that's right about to fire though Their knockback is definitely a problem. Uh, I think they were immune to poison, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, she can't reach. Okay. She can do this, though. They are still crumbling, so I guess my goal is just to survive for a couple of turns again. Earthquake. Missed one. How is that even possible? Oh, okay. So since they did take a couple of turns to actually reach us, I guess there was enough to... Oh, that was what? Wait a second. Warchant? I could have sworn... I was actually trying to use some sort of healing ability. Whatever. Um... Wait. Oh, she's... Okay, I see. She's immobile. We got a wolf. Surprisingly, call wolf. Yeah, that's... Oh, I... I don't know why I thought this was the healing servant blessing is... Um... A healing spell. Okay. That really only works on pets. Good to know. This construct should be... Crumbling. Any moment now. Okay, missed a turn again. Um, guess you can heal a Yali now. Oh, the construct just healed. That's lovely. Can you. Oh, Wolf cannot do anything. Okay, let's Blade Lash. I doubt that we'll actually. Also, I can just throw. Didn't do much. And there it goes. I would have liked to actually legit uh, legitimately defeat one of these constructs. But, well. Wait. Can I not just leave commit? I guess not. Oh, no. Wait. Why are we always in combat? There we go. That was weird. Maybe because the the pet was still there? I don't know. Alright. That was... Oh, nope. I was gonna say that was it, finally, but nope. There are still these two turrets left. I did not see before. Right. <clears throat> okay, also Rudo, before I forget, switch back to his main weapon. You stumble out of the tower as the pyrotechnics die down behind you. What pyrotechnics? When you have caught your breath, you poke your head back in. What? You poke your head back in. The construct... Oh, you poke, you poke your head back in the tower. Well, I... Never mind. And the constructs have finished crumbling. Yes, uh, they had before, but... Thanks. Uh, the turrets are in pieces. Their rotting supports could only hold them up. Uh, could only hold them up for so long. You suppose this counts as disarming the traps? Yes. Well, I did actually destroy most of them. But okay. Interesting that the game expected me to to just run away. I guess if I hadn't been 
as over leveled as I am, those um, constructs would have been even deadlier than they already were. So, uh, yes, okay. For most players, it would have been the only option, I guess, to just run away as fast as they could. Which would still not have been all that fast, considering all those turrets constantly firing at them while trying to run away, and the constructs possibly uh, getting them into a melee. Anyway, um, I got rid of those traps. Zethron nods. Good. I sense the detonation. You're competent. You're, you're competent, after all. He gives you a pouch of gold and a wand from the items surrounding him. A wand, really? You are not wasting my time. I can give you a proper task. Okay. Where can I go for you next? To a place called Svars Peninsula. Oh, well. That seems to be a pretty busy place. He uses a claw to indicate the location on your map. Oh, thank you. It is a mountainous region, honeycombed with caves. There are tunnels there, called the Sea Vaults. Explore them. Clear out any pests you find. I am looking for an alternate lair, in case my home here is lost. Okay. Where are the Sea Vaults? Along the eastern shore of the peninsula. The lands used to be settled by the Deramites. Those humans are very organized. They might have placed some signs. What am I looking for exactly? Just explore the vaults, return and tell me what you see. I will then question you. The important thing is that I be able to live there. Okay. Fair enough. Also, congrats Rudo on your level up. Going to give you some more intelligence, because why not? And... Uh, this is actually... Pretty good. I would like to have that proc even more often possible. Hmm, but then... Ah, right, acid shower. I should have that by now. Completely missed that fact. Actually, I'm going to just... wait a second. Cursed crown. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure what would be best. Nature's mas uh, Mastery... Increases effectiveness of healing. Also increases health, which is good, of course. I would like to put more points into the Aura of the Grove, but I can't do that immediately. Hmm. Earth Shatter. Well, I mean... Actually, let's make this one better. For the time being, it seems a little bit lackluster. I w would like to be... Would, would like for the skill which uh, I find very interesting, conceptually, uh, to be more actually useful. Alright. <clears throat> so, next stop, we talk with uh, Grenra again. Uh, excuse me? No, no. I did say... What? What the hell? In what universe is the way all the way around shorter than just around this corner? That was a bit strange. Okay, Grenra. Um... I would like to talk about Gorm. The Titans get very quiet. Grenra looks grim. So it comes. Gorm made the, made the humans too angry. They send a hand. A killer. I expected it. Well, not a, not necessarily a killer. That really depends on a couple of factors. Mostly on Gorm. Gorm's titans are thieves. They have no control. They attacked humans. Wounded them. I knew Avedon would not like it. Yet Avedon said I control my titans. I judge them. You need my word before you kill us. Yes, that's why I'm here. So what should I do about Gorm? The silence that follows is long and tense. All titans look to Grenra for his decision. Finally, he speaks. Gorm will have us thrown away, out of packed safety, back to Farlands. No hope for the young, just poor, lost. Do with Gorm what you want. Do you do what you need to. He is only distant cousin anyway. Some titans are clearly angry about this decision. They are also wise enough to stay silent about it for now. Okay.
I mean, I guess we'll see if it really needs to come to violence, although it seems quite likely, to say the least. But obviously, I'm willing to talk if Gorm is. <sighs> Gorm looks down at you, leaning on his war club and sipping from a massive flagon. He doesn't say anything, he just stares and smirks. Well, he smirks for now. I just had a bit of a chat with Overseer Grenra. Gorm's insolent attitude fades very quickly. He sets down his mug. And what Grenra say, little human? He said that I can kill you. Well, I mean, I guess he did say that. The Titans stand up. You suddenly feel very small. He say, I see. Well, saying and doing are different. You fight Titans, you are warriors. We do what we do. You think you make us stop? You can still live, you just have to behave. No, you challenge us. Pass that now. You are weak. You are a weak little thing. We do what we want. Fight us or back off like a little coward. I guess I just have to kill you. The drunken, rowdy titans suddenly grow very serious. They act like blustering fools, but they are serious, seasoned warriors. The battle begins. Oh boy. Okay, there is a total of, what, four of them? Well, four warriors plus... Oh, never mind. Five, six. This might be... This might be very bad. Actually. Ayali is stunned for a turn. That sucks. Um... These guys are just going to... fling rocks at us. That crusher down there might or might not join the fray immediately. I don't know what Gorm is actually doing. Maybe he's the one responsible for the stunning. This all happened a bit too fast to actually follow. Um... Okay, what are my options? If I blast the ground, that's going to benefit the titans as well. Which is obviously not ideal. I could buy us some time by healing us. And I think that's what I kind of need to do here. By positioning this like this, I can... Nice, okay. That kind of worked out. I mean, they're not dealing as much damage as I... As, the, as I at first feared they might. Um, okay, you move away. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right. She can walk here. Maybe she's uh, safe from this flinger, at least. That would be helpful. And then she can do this for maximum damage, hopefully. Yeah, actually, these Titan Crushers are kind of... Kind of easy to kill. Okay, maybe I should use a potion of battle here. Rudo needs to heal next turn. You can walk here to bind at least these two guys. And I will definitely need to charge my weapons. Oh. Rudo is dead. Okay, that's a bit of a bummer, but I can sur um, survive him. No, I can uh, resurrect him. Well. Ayali keeps getting stunned. That's unfortunate. I think it's actually already time to use one of my resurrection scrolls. It's um, unfortunate that he's decided to respawn right next to a crusher, but can't be helped now. Could try using it this daze. Okay, that did buy us some time, I feel. Cannot really walk away too far, but you can do that a little bit. Acid show, wait. Did I not unlock that? Did I not? Hang on a second. This is effectively at level 6. So is uh, effective level, like, level including specializations not enough to unlock? Why did I think it was? Well, in any case. I don't have it, so what do I do instead? I could use an earthquake and just deal some general 
damage all around. Or use the poison mist to damage these guys. I think it's not the worst choice I could have made. Okay, this should be able to deal a bit more damage. Maybe even kill one of those guys? Uh, almost. Poison, acid, and burning should definitely take care of him. Next turn. Okay. That's pretty huge. Gorm does have a lot of hit points though. Which is definitely troubling. Cannot group heal for a moment. For a few more moments, we need to heal a little bit. Actually, okay, that was nice. The cleave. Um, maybe I just attack Gorm. Keep attacking Gorm. Nice. Haste it again. This is and two crits. Oh, he's not dead. Despite poison and burning. That's a bummer. Thankfully, this guy was still. Um. He was still. Uh, what's the word? Dazed. Um. Sacred ground? He is regenerating, but. Uh, I guess. If I do this, that's not going to help him. Oh, your blows are starting to cause Gorm actual discomfort. Oh god, he roars with rage. Little ants! Titans are better! Titans always better! I stomp you! He enters a berserk rage and begins to stomp blindly around the, the encampment. Uh, okay. Oh god, holy shit. That's not nice. Uh, well, I can move. I still have double strike and haste and all the other th things, so I also have not used my, um, what's it called? Blade Lash. Okay. Hmm. I would really prefer, nope, would really prefer to not use all my resurrection scrolls for this for this I don't know non major fight. Uh, I think we should be able to to win even without Rudo for the time being. Gorm is just about dead here. Actually stand on the regen ground again. There we go, Gorm is dead. Gorm falls. Another insolent Farlander has learned too late how dangerous it is to taunt Avedon. Hopefully, word will get around. Well, it would be nice if his um, underlings took some immediate lessons from that. What the hell? Who let the spiders out? Oh boy. Okay, well. I don't know, should I resurrect? Should I or shouldn't I resurrect? I guess for the time being we are still kind of okay. Actually, did they not attack this turn? I guess they take their turn now, huh? Yeah. Ouch. Don't do that. Oh, don't miss. Actually, Ayali is taking not very much damage from these guys. So that at least is a bit encouraging, but I start missing now. That's really not good. Also, I ran out of double strike without realizing. Okay. Yeah, I saw that one coming. But actually... I think we can still make it. Is this worth it? Nope. Not really. I guess I can late match again. That was a very decent hit. Ok, 
Okay, spider might die from acid? Although probably not. Oh, god. Okay. Thankfully, that worked out. Uh, can attack this guy. I can also... And I definitely should heal myself. That was a bit too close. If I had died here, that would have been very regrettable. Okay, what's happening? Why are these turns taking so long? With only this one guy left. I don't know. Some NPCs must be off screen. Okay. There we go. Yeah, sorry guys, but, you know. Precious resources and all that. Well, that was nasty. Um, Soldier's Helm, 1 to Strength. Uh, yeah, sure. Better than the helm without that. Uh, I guess I can just take the money now. Don't see why not. Same goes for all of this stuff, of course. Welp. Oh. Oh, that's why. Oh, they're now fighting the, the nice titans. I didn't know that. Why didn't you say anything? Should I not have, like, heard the fighting going on here? I hope they didn't actually kill any of uh, Renra's people. But then, I guess th this must really have been one of uh, one of Gorm's people who stood close enough to to this guy to just, I don't know, get involved in fighting with him. Since all of Gorm's supporters were basically around Gorm. Uh, can I not tell him about the unfortunate death of his cousin? I guess not. Uh, well. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I guess I return to Wallace to see if he has another quest for me, and then I suppose we can be off to Svars Peninsula for taking care of those three quests there. However, one of the quests uh, requires me to take Botan with me, huh? So maybe I will actually explore <coughs> explore the place first with my main party and then return with Botan to do the quest. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, Gorm will trouble you no more. You tell the tale of Gorm's fall. Wallace makes you, uh, makes you tell it two more times while he drinks ale and laughs. Well, I haven't had so much fun in weeks. Wish I could have seen that arrogant, l that arrogant lummox learn who really commands Linnaeus. Your reward is a beautiful new broadsword. Oh, maybe that's good. After it's been presented to you, Wallace says, I'm growing to like you, Ayali. We might be able to help each other more. Gladly. How else can I help you? I know you have work in Goldcrag. I've learned that much. Could use, uh, could use your help trying, uh, tying up a loose end. Oh my god, I can't read. When the Warborn attacked from three directions, the center of the town was abandoned. They had to move fast, though. Too fast. They left behind books of records. Most of them were useless. Not all. There there were maps of fortifications and roads. Lists of... list of hidden caches? Mm, other odds and ends. I want you to find those records and burn them. They might be hard to find, though. Uh, why don't you want the records brought here? There are too many of them. You would need a cart to bring them, and you aren't getting a cart like that through this battlefield. Burning is the best option. Oh, that seems unfortunate, though. What will these records look like? 
Levant, the leader of Goldcrag, passed through here on his way into exile. He described them as 14 leather-bound volumes. Very bulky and heavy. Not the sort of thing you just stuff into a pack. Uh, why might the records be hard to find? Because the records were hidden. When Levant fled his town, he saw some of his soldiers carrying the records out. They were likely hidden somewhere near City Hall. I'm not sure how you can find them, but you, but you seem clever. Well, thanks. Um, but isn't my goal to kind of free gold crack? So if I if I were to succeed in that, I didn't I wouldn't need to actually burn the records then. I guess uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, sure, let's pump more points into strength. And I guess last time I started building on this skill, huh? To make my melee even better. Actually, all my physical attacks. Right. Um, anything else in here? No, we did get two new quests, right? Yes. One in Swartz Peninsula and one in Goldcrag. Oh, Titan Guard. Wait, Titan Guards? Have they been here this entire time? I guess they must have. Um, I don't know why I just noticed them just now. Also, hey, Natalie, I didn't even see them, that you got a level up as well. Um, let's see here. I do like using hot coals, but it is a bit difficult to use effectively sometimes. I also do like the searing spray. <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Yeah, Searing uh, Stillwind is not yet unlocked. Okay, so that actually does need to be the the main actual level of the skill to unlock that. I guess I must have known that at one point and just forgotten about it. It's good to know, if a bit unfortunate. Um, but in any case, one more point and I will unlock that. That should be a decent upgrade, just a straight up upgrade of uh, from Lightning Wind to a non-elemental Steel Wind. I guess there might be some rare creatures that are actually weak to Lightning, but uh, I guess it's more likely to find creatures that are actually resistant to it or even immune. Uh, yeah, I guess let's leave. Okay. Right, we are all the way down here. Actually, I hadn't even seen our position on the map before. There's Gold Creek, there's Frost Peninsula. We could also just make it, since we are approaching the end of the episode quickly here, might as well... Um, oh god, where was the quick entrance to Nightshade? I think this one. Since there is not much time left in this episode, I might as well go to go see Nicodemus real quick and get our newest gadget. Um, can you craft anything for me? I found a, I found a dragon's claw, right. Uh -huh, re he retires, uh -huh. then he comes back with singed arms and a wooden baton with a glass orb at the tip. It is full of powder. The tip of that baton is, uh, the tip of that baton is full of exquisite dragon powder. Just keep that in your pack, carry it with you, and his energy will surround you. You're welcome. Okay. Also got some other stuff. That's true. Dragon Fang Wand. Um, magical damage and endurance. Okay, that's good. That's a useful item for any of my casters, but I'm going to give that to Nathalie in order to keep stacking her magical damage plus. Just seems better to, you know, stockpile all of the bonuses on one character than to spread them around. Uh, true Stroke Broadsword. Same damage as what I'm using. Plus 40 to hit chance. Oh, that's actually not terrible. Sure, it's lacking the extra critical hit chance, but... Hmm. I'm tempted to use this. Because obviously, missing a hit entirely is 
a lot worse than than uh, just hitting normally instead of hitting critically. It also seems I uh, I I don't know, plus forty percent sounds like a huge bonus. I'm not sure how strong that actually is, but it does seem pretty good. Also we did get this extra one of lightning, which I'm not even going to keep. Um for reasons that I've discussed before. Right. Uh I guess I'm, I wanna enchant this one again. Wait. With strength. Uh, intelligence, dexterity. Do I have strength? Oh yeah, okay. Actually a couple of these. I could put an extra point of strength onto this one as well. And even these. Yeah, I'm I'm going to do that because why not? This strength, right? Yeah. I guess I could also use them to or use that to put some extra dexterity onto an item that she's using. Because I'm kinda focusing more on, on strength, but I do want some dexterity as well. To help with my missile attacks. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I might also actually end the episode here and look into using some more of my runes, my rune stones, uh, off camera, since that's not the most exciting stuff to watch in the world. Um, next time, I guess we're going to head straight for Svars Peninsula next um, and explore that place, take care of at least two of the quests maybe pick up some more. Um, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.